after I graduated, I came back home. Uh, one of my friend's father, who was a mentor to me, mm -hmm. um, he was already in the engineering space. He worked at Northrop Grumman. Okay. Uh, when I first got out of college, though, like, I couldn't, like most people, couldn't get a job. Yeah. So I went back to the gas station. So I actually worked at the NOCO up on Cleveland Drive. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. all through college. All, I started there when I was 16. I didn't leave there until I was 22. Wow. Just back and forth college and, you know, just... Trying to you you need some money That's like dope, nobody That's gonna dope. hire a college kid like you said and he leaving in two months so yeah I worked there all that time um, came back I had to go back there that was the only job I had right um, then I ended up going to a place called My Pack over off Elmwood um, so literally right before you cross over to North Buffalo right. it's called My Pack we just made like little like Reese's boxes mm -hmm. before they give them to you like in the, in the package at the uh, gas station you pick them out we made those boxes. So gotcha, okay. from there, went to Northrop Grumman with my with one of my good friend's fathers. And he really showed me like how to do the engineering thing. Like now he was literally like a father to me. Um, so it was like, you know, I will, he will, he will walk that line. Like, look, <laughs> we know we at work, but it's not that here. Like Clear this boundaries. Yeah. yeah. So and he, and that was one of the greatest lessons he taught me. It's like, yes, we family, but this is work. And like Love when it. he taught me that, I understood. I seen a different environment. Um, especially being so young, you know, you're still trying to be nice. Hey, you know, hello, sir. Yes, ma'am. He like, dude, like y'all peers. Like that was the second lesson he taught me. Like, <laughs> like you, you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? You in a work environment, like you in a real world now. Yeah. So from Northrop, I was there for probably like two years um, and ended up getting hired on there because I started off as a contractor, hired on there. Then I went to McLean Fog where I was a tooling engineer in there. Um, so I was a tooling engineer in there for maybe six, seven months. They had a layoff. I was already in real estate. That's when I had to go full time real estate. Okay. So that's what takes me to. The so bank. what what turned you, or what what kind of was the the shift to real estate? Like what 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 sparked your interest? Um, my my younger my pops always talked about it. Okay. Um, so he like, dude, when you grow up, you have to get some apartments. Like you have to get some rentals. Like that's how you really gonna set yourself. Um. And then looking at it, every person with wealth always talks real estate. Yeah. So I had like being, you know, I was making good money at 24, 23 years old. So I was saving. I've, my savings was way better then, but <laughs> um, just I saved everything. Mm. So even when they did let me go, like, I had 25 in the bank just chilling. Nice. Like at 23 years old, 24 years old. That's so good. that was my next thing. I'm about to go get a crib. I'm about to go get a house. Um, so I'm reading everything, how to invest, how you do this, how you get your first two units, stuff like yeah. that. I'm realizing like, like, all right, more than just investment, like I started looking at realtors, like real estate agents. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, something told me like, dude, just go be that or just go get a job because you can do both. Like you're yeah. done with school. You only doing, you know what I'm saying? You only working 12 hours as an engineer. You got more time uh, to yeah. your day. Like, you know what I'm saying? So you do something else. That's when I began to do that.